Okay, g'day people, it's Jeff here from Cop to Crew. Uh, I'm just going to give you a bit of a demo on how to do your fix ID on a Devo 7 radio. They can be a little bit of a pain to um, learn to program, but honestly, they're not that bad once you get used to them. And I've found them a very reliable and good quality radio. You know, I can't fault them. Um, battery times aren't the best, but you can fix that by putting a LiPo in there, just a three cell LiPo. Um, so today what we're going to do is basically just show you how to do the fix ID really quickly. So what we do, first thing you need to do is get your radio and your model linked together. So plug your battery in first, switch your radio on immediately after until you've got a solid red light in your receiver. If you haven't got that, you need to do it again. So I know it's a bit back to front, but switch your radio off, unplug your battery, plug your battery on your model in first and then switch your radio on straight away with your throttle down. Um, so once you've done that, you should have a solid red light and you'll basically be at this screen. Okay, so what we do is just use the tabs on the right and left here to navigate through. So first thing we do, once it's warmed up, okay, is we press the enter button here. That brings up your menus, you can see system there. We just use the tab until we get to model, press enter, and then we go down, keep going down until you get to fix ID. Okay, press enter. Now we want to, if it's on off, we need to change that to on. Okay, fix ID on. So with that right button there. Then what we do is we use the left tab buttons here, arrow down. Okay, that's the code. We don't want to change that, leave it as it is. Press enter, enter again, run, we want to run it. Yes, enter, and that's now running. Okay, that's done, then just simply exit out of your menus, and away you go. So with this, if you were doing a return to home with your remote switched off, what you can do is switch your remote back on while it's coming back to you and then regain control. You will need to throttle back for a brief moment when you're switching your radio on, otherwise you'll get the um, throttle alarm. Um, but make sure you throttle back to mid-stick straight away once you've switched your remote on. Um, otherwise it's going to start falling out of the sky. I hope this helps you. Um, anything else, please just shoot me a question. I'm going to do some more videos on how to set up the Devo 7 for your NASA with your GPS return to home fail safe and the um, intelligent orientation control as soon as I can. Thanks very much for watching. See you people. Bye.